In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to make moving platforms in Quake. A moving platform is simple to make. It is basically a normal brush with a special entity Funk Train applied to it. We first make the brush that will do the moving. We then right click, go to Apply Entity, then Funk, and select Train. Here we can change the speed which the platform will move. We can also specify the amount of damage it makes when it crushes against a player. Now we need to lay out a path which the platform will follow. We do so by adding path corner entities into our map. Each path corner entity will have a target field pointing to another path corner entity. The platform will start out at the first path corner's position. It will follow the target link and float in a straight path, passing through walls, to the next path corner's position, and to the next path corner's position, and so on. We will need to specify the first path corner in the target field of the platform's property window. Then we'll add the first path corner entity. We right click, go to add entity, go to miscellaneous, and select path corner. We specify its identifying name here and the next destination in the target field. We then create the second, the third, and the fourth path corners by repeating the same process. The platform will follow the linked path corner entities indefinitely until it reaches a path corner with a weight key equal to negative one. So for our last path corner, we can set its target field back to the first path corner if we want the platform to loop forever or enter negative one in the weight field if we want the platform to stop here. Finally, a moving platform can start out stationary. To do this, we need to give the platform an identifying name. We can then trigger the platform into motion with another triggering entity and make its target point to the platform.